Y'all, it has been almost, what, two months since the last time I've given y'all any kind of update, any kind of brief, or anything like that. Uh, I want to apologize, but I'm back. Welcome once again, y'all. My name is Drill Sergeant Lynch. I'm back with another video. Um, I hope everybody's been staying focused and motivated with that. Thank y'all for coming through and checking me out, man. I know it's been a long time. Um, so what I want to talk to y'all today about, man, it's, it's been a long time, I know, but I just want to talk to y'all and give y'all an update on what's going on with me uh, at the fitness training unit and just uh, one thing in particular that, uh, that I got the honor to do. So everything's going pretty good at the fitness training unit. Um, as far as I know, I'm doing pretty good as a platoon sergeant, haven't had many issues. Um, there's been a couple times where first sergeant wasn't around and the senior drill sergeant wasn't around. I'm the next highest ranking drill sergeant. So at that point, it's my turn to step up, making sure that everything is running as smoothly as possible, that I can within my knowledge of what I'm supposed to be doing in that in that job, that job specter, right? So uh, I don't know, man. There's one thing about being a drill sergeant, and you know your other drills are not doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. I'm the type of drill sergeant that, you know, I don't like to do a lot of talking and stuff like that when it comes to telling my telling my battle buddies what it is they should be doing when they know the right thing that they're supposed to be doing. And with it being at FTU, it's just a different kind of training environment, just a different kind of environment, different vibe and everything. It's a little bit different over there, man. There's gonna be a lot of times where, you know, just everything that we're used to doing over across the street at your basic training unit, it's just different when you're at the, the, the fitness training unit. There's a lot of things that we don't do. Everything is a, it's a whole modified training environment a lot of things are different over there how we you know that quote unquote red face drill sergeant all the time we don't do that at the fitness training unit because a lot of the trainees we have to get them spiritually mentally emotionally and physically back ready to get back into the fight and get to their training so there's a lot of things that we we don't act the same way as drill sergeants in ftu we don't act the same way that we do across the street or aka at your basic training unit so it's just different, man. It's different when when I have to step up and take charge and tell the drills, hey, y'all know y'all got to do this. Y'all know y'all got to do this. I can't do it. There's nothing wrong with me doing it. Just a little bit different. So uh, there's been a few instances where I had to kind of say something. I should have said something and I didn't. And first sergeant was telling me like, hey, you got to get on it. You're supposed to be my, my, second, my second hand. You're supposed to be on it like that. So that's on me. That's something that I should have done. One good thing that I thought was pretty awesome. It's weird because, again, I'm the type of person I don't like things happening. Like if I have to do something at the last minute, especially if I don't have much time to prepare for it, I hate that kind of stuff. So I got the honor of being able to brief the new drill sergeants that come to my post as they get to their new basic training unit. It was pretty cool, man. I got to the building in the classroom where we were supposed to do the brief. As I get there and I go report, there was a few people who were looking at me. A few of the drill sergeants were looking at me. And they were giving me these looks and I heard them whispering and stuff like that. So they knew me. I guess I'm kind of popular a little bit, right? So they knew who I was. A couple of them knew who I was. A couple of them couldn't tell. So they stood there and looked at me. They were standing and looking at me for a minute. And then I really started hearing them saying, yeah, that's him. That's him. So they knew it was me. I had a battle buddy with me there just to kind of back me up on some of the things that I had to say and to help answer some of the questions that the other drill sergeants had. So that was a good thing. Um, but when I got there and I got to give the brief, it was good, man. It was a good, it was a good time. I initially didn't think I was gonna do that well because like I said, when I find out things that I have to do something at the last minute, and if I feel like I don't have enough time to prepare for it, I'm gonna jump into it with minimal confidence. My confidence is not gonna be very high and you're gonna be able to tell that I'm just not in a good place at that time. But I was motivated when I got up there and I was in front of them, it was probably, I don't know, maybe a good 30 drill sergeants, 30 new drill sergeants for this time that was that was here new on the post. And I basically was briefing them since I'm in the fitness training unit. That's the reason why I was chose to go brief them. But I have to brief them on what exactly is the fitness training unit how do we conduct business? You know, our hours of operation. When do we intake trainees? When do we out process trainees from FTU? You know, just what the whole program is about. A lot of them seemed like they were paying attention. They seemed like they were very interested in it. The funny thing about it is I was telling them 
about how the hours are and everything over at FTU. And uh, there was a couple of them that were ready to sign on at FTU before they did any real time on the trail. Me as a drill sergeant, I would not want to start, even my first year, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with FTU just because, and this is just me, you know, how much I love being a drill sergeant, how motivated I am with being a drill sergeant. Um, I would want to at least complete my two years just the same way I did. And then if I was going to do a third year to go do go ahead over to FTU and do my third year. That would be me. But some of them I was telling them about, you know, our hours of operations, you know, all the accessibility to to workouts and PT that we have to do over at FTU since we're basically training the trainees to get back into the fight. We're helping them heal and stuff like that. We don't do normal field training exercises. We don't go to the field. They do an ACFT every week. At the end of every week, there's always an ACFT. So if we ever wanted to jump in on one, we could. We have so many different kettlebells and free weights, just all kinds of things, treadmills, ellipticals, all kinds of things that we can use for us, for our fitness and stuff like that. And like I said, with it being a, a modified training environment, we get a lot more time off than your normal drill sergeants do. So it was it was just, a, to me, I was just kind of surprised at myself because of how I conducted myself during the briefing. Very confident. A lot of times I actually find out that I know more than I think I know, or at least I can explain things better than I think I can explain them. So there was a slide deck, there was a PowerPoint presentation that I just kind of went through the presentation. I would look up at the presentation, which this is really how you should be conducting any kind of instruction. Um, if you have something that you're going off of, you should be able to look at it, but you should know it off the top of your head. So I would look at it real quick just to get an idea of what the next slide was, and I just give them the rundown with my own words the whole time. I think it was pretty good, man. I think it was pretty good. I enjoyed myself. Like I said, just with that not having enough time to prepare or not thinking I had enough time to prepare in that short time frame, I actually did a lot better than I thought I would do. So I'm still over here kicking, man. I'm still over here doing what I got to do. Um, I got a few more months left in the fitness training unit. I'm looking towards a PCS real soon. For OPSEC reasons, I'm not going to tell when and where. Uh, but here soon, we're looking at PCS. Uh, that being said, my time as a drill sergeant is almost up. Even though my time is almost up as a, as a drill sergeant, I'm still going to be at the fitness training unit for a few months because I'm trying to figure, we're trying to get some things squared away. I don't want to get all into the details, but we're trying to get some things squared away. I will be there for a few months after my D-hat day, and then later on we will be PCSing. That being said, y'all, once I PCS, I'm gonna continue to keep it going on this YouTube page. I think I'm gonna keep the name DS Lynch just because y'all know that I was a drill sergeant, but what I wanna start doing is getting more into my MOS and things that we do with my MOS. Maybe just how we conduct ourselves, you know, on certain days when we're at work, just different things. But anyway, I wanna thank y'all so much for rocking with me, coming to check me out once again. I know, like I said, it's been a long, almost two months, maybe a month and a half since I've knocked out a video. I apologize for that, y'all. Um, I've been trying to figure some things out. Uh, we're getting ready to have a new addition to the family. And like I said, getting ready to PCS here soon. So thank y'all so much for coming to check me out. I hope that y'all have a great day. Don't give up on me. I won't give up on y'all. And we're going to keep it moving. All right. Deuces. Y'all stay focused and motivated. And I'm out of here.